Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Rune Factory 5 and today's video is something that was requested by a lot of people. So if you didn't know, in Rune Factory 5, every time you give 5 handmade gifts to a villager, they're gonna give you something back in return and each villager is gonna give you a different type of items. And you can easily exploit this to get a lot of items because you can do this as many times as you'd like in a day. So I'm gonna give 50 swords to each villager one after the other, so they're gonna give me 10 items each. If you do this, keep in mind you don't have to use broadswords, the only important thing is that you give handmade items, so you can give them any type of weapon, armor, any food that you cook. And another little thing to note is that the items will scale depending on the progress you've made in the main story. So for example, in this one, I've just cleared the Kelv Lava Caves. So keep in mind, I'm probably not gonna get the best items in the game, but I'm still gonna get a few interesting things. But with all of that being said, let's start with our first villager. We're gonna start with Martin, so I'm just gonna give him my 50 swords one by one. And then at the end, I should have 10 rewards from him and I'm gonna show you what I got. So Martin's gonna give you ores. So I've got five bronze, four iron and one orichalcum. And this is where you can really see that even though the items for the most part scale with the story progression, you can still get some really interesting things. So that's a great way to get things that you wouldn't get otherwise and if i want i could also just sell it and get 3500 g which is quite a bit of money at the very beginning and just to demonstrate a little bit better how the items scale and change depending on the story progression i'm just gonna go in my other save file where i'm in the end game and i'm gonna do the same experiment with martin all right so i just finished giving my 50 gifts to martin in my more advanced save file now let's take a look at what i've got so as you can see, I still got a little bit of bronze and a little bit of iron, but I also got a lot of gold. I got one platinum and one orichalcum. So this gives you a little idea of how things will scale as you progress to the story. You can still get the items from the beginning, but you're also going to get better items. So for the next villagers, I'll just be demonstrating with one save file, but now at least you know how the scaling works a little bit. So let's keep going. All right, so next we have Murakumo. And Murakumo is quite special actually because instead of giving you an item every fifth item that you give him, he's actually going to give you one item every single time. So let's take a look at everything I've got, but I should have 50 items in here. And as you can see, he's going to give you claws and fangs. So these are going to be pretty useful for crafting and since you get one of them for every single item, you give him, I think it's a pretty good way of making money, especially at the beginning of the game. For example, here I got 9 Crimson Claws and they're worth 700g each. And some of them here, these ones, Magic Claws, 224, this one, 360. And they're good for crafting, so Murakumo is definitely a good villager to gift. Next we have Reinhardt, so let's see what we can get from him. So Reinhardt is gonna give you seeds and it's pretty useful because you're gonna be able to get 3 seeds, which are a bit trick here to find so here I got two twinkle seeds and two orange tree seeds and I also unlocked some seeds that I otherwise would not even have access to for example the clover seeds they can usually be bought in the flower shop but I have not even unlocked Ludmilla yet so I don't have the flower shop so if you're trying to get access to certain seeds earlier it could be a good idea to try giving some things to Reinhardt Next we've got Riker and Riker is going to be giving you scales which are very useful for crafting or just for selling and making some money. For example, here I got a Basilisk scale worth 10,000 G, Grimoire scale which can only be gotten from a monster pretty late in game worth 2,800. Here I've got a Dragon Golem scale worth 10,000 G so you can really make a lot of money from this and they're used for a lot of crafting recipes. So that's extremely useful and also there's a character you'll unlock pretty late in the main story. I'm not gonna spoil it, but this character will also be giving you skills. Next is Simon and Simon is gonna be giving you medicine. So sometimes you can get some pretty good potions, some antidote, paragon, cold medicine, things like that. And other times you're gonna get some things like object X, which is not gonna be as useful, but that's pretty much it for Simon. Next we have Lucy and she's gonna be giving you fish and at least in this case I didn't get anything special, it's all fish that's very easy to get even at the beginning of the game. Speaking of fish, Cecile is gonna be giving you fish fossil and sometimes other types of shells and fossils. So I got one ammonite and nine fish fossils. 
which are not the most useful items. So honestly, I wouldn't spend too much time on Cecil. On the other hand, a character who is very useful is Heinz. He's gonna be giving you gems and minerals. And as you can see, since I'm still early in the game, I got a lot of aquamarine and amethyst. However, I also managed to get one green core as well as one blue core. And these items I'm pretty sure can only be found in Rigbarth Maze, which is in the end game. So these are gonna be so useful to have if you want to craft some powerful equipment before reaching the end game. So yeah, extremely useful. Next we've got Darak and Darak is gonna be giving you battle hammers. And as you can see, I've got lots of very cheap hammers that are not that strong. But I've also got a Heist Hammer which has 267 in attack which is pretty good because my current weapon only has 58. But I've also got a Schnabel which has 2200 of attack. So I could pretty much just use this weapon from now until the very end of the game because it is very strong. So as I said earlier, these items will scale as you progress to the game. But even at the very beginning of the game, you can get weapons like these that are extremely strong. So yep, that's it for Darak. Next we have Terry and Terry is going to be giving you accessories. Some of them are obviously better than others. One good one I got today is the Hennet Scarf. This one will have the RP consumption, so that's very useful to have. And one I didn't get today, but you do have a chance of getting is the Heart Pendant. And the Heart Pendant will double the skill experience that you get. So you're going to be leveling up all of your skills very quickly if you have the Heart Pendant. So that's it for Terry. Next we have Ludmila. And for this one, I had to go into my Japanese save file because I did not unlock her yet in my English save file. But basically, she's going to be giving you some herbs and flowers, which are all going to be useful for chemistry. So it's a useful way to get all of these different colored grasses and some of these flowers if you don't want to grow them yourself. So all of the villagers we've just seen, in my opinion, are the ones that are going to be giving you the most useful gifts. All of the other villagers will be giving you food, but we're still going to go through each of them pretty quickly. And I'm going to show you what I got. From Beatrice, I got some produce, nothing very spectacular, just some crops, as well as some mushroom and bamboo shoots. Palmo gave me pretty much the same things. Scarlet gave me a lot of onigiri, as well as a fruit sandwich, some pickles, pickled mix, pickled turnip. Livia gave me a lot of dumplings, as well as some manju and pancakes. From Elche, I got some wine, some rice, as well as some chocolate, which are all pretty useful ingredients for cooking. But I think you're probably a lot better off just buying them from the general store. From Priscilla, I got a lot of bread, so some resin bread, some toast, some baked onigiri, cookie, and sweet potatoes. Randolph gave me pretty much the same things as Priscilla, so I got some different types of bread, sweet potato, baked onigiri, and corn. I was expecting Yuki to give me pretty much the same things as Priscilla and Randolph. However, except for this French toast, she only gives dishes made with fish. Lucas gave me a lot of, I guess, boil or hot things. So I've got hot milk, hot chocolate, milk and rice porridge, egg ball, apple jam, glazed yam, and boiled egg. Misasaki gave me things that are very similar to what I've got from Lucas. So some glazed yam. Some egg bowl, some jam, grilled miso udon, hot chocolate, porridge, and things like that. Hina gave me a lot of drinks, so I got one strawberry milk, some apple juice, grape juice, as well as some ice cream and butter. Just like Hina, Julian also gave me some ice cream, as well as quite a few drinks, so I got strawberry milk, grape, apple, and fruit juice. As for Fuka, she gave me lots of different types of sashimi. If you have a Rune Factory 4 special save file on your Switch, you will unlock Doug and Margaret. Unfortunately, they don't give you anything back, so I just gave 16 swords to Doug and he didn't give me anything. And let's just try with Margaret and see if she's any different. And no, she also doesn't give you anything back. So don't waste too much time gifting these characters. 
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. These are all the gifts you will get from the villagers when you give them handmade gifts. Let me know which character you found to be the most useful. For me, if I had to pick three, I think I would say Darak for the hammers, Terry for the accessories, and then either Riker or Hanks for the scales and the gems. But I hope that this video was useful and that you were able to learn a few things. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Rune Factory 5 content like this. I'm going to be working on more tips videos and more guides related to Rune Factory 5. So if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.